everyone, it's Marie from Tessie Soap. I just wanted to show you how I wrap my, my soap. I get um, sheets of uh, scrapbooking paper. These come in sheets of 12 by 12. So I just cut strips uh, 3 inches across and leave the length unchanged. So that's 12 inches uh, in length. I put my soap on here. Wrap run and one end over. I leave part of the top showing so that um, people can see what the soap looks like and they can actually smell what it smells like. I take my stick of glue, just regular glue stick, put some glue on the top, put some glue on the bottom flap, and then just fold it nice and snug, just like that. For the top, I just wrap the end like a present. So I fold in this end, I fold in this one, I'll trim off the um, this at each side because they're a little bit long, just trim this one here, and then I just fold this in like that, nice and neat. And then put a little bit piece of tape, and there you are. So I call this my pajama bottom. So now I take my label. I've got a sheet of label that I print just on a big uh, one label, one sheet, one label per sheet. And then I print the labels and then I cut them with an X-Acto knife. So I'm going to get my, whoa, my glue stick is gone. Rolling about there. So there's my top. And then put my bottom. Here. And then I store my bars like this. When I'm ready to give them away, or should I sell them, um, I can, at the time that I'm ready to give them away, I can take the soap out, slide it out, I can weigh it, put it back in, put in the weight that I um, that it weighs. Since it's going to change, of course, because the soap always loses water as uh, time goes by. So when I'm ready to do that, I, I put the weight on and then I add the little suspenders like this. And this is just uh, raffia paper and I just cut some lengths and I just uh, tie it at the top, snip off the ends and away you go. The only thing with this is that it's actually covering sometimes a little bit of the soap name. So one of these days I'll get my act together and put it everything so that it fits in between the two suspenders. But for now, it's, um, it works pretty well. And when the soap is aged a bit and the wrapping gets a little bigger, the suspenders help to keep the, the, um, the label and the, the bottom on. So that seems to work quite well. I always um, have different kinds, so I sometimes will use a little bit of string, or this is sizal, and this is my lemon meringue soap. And I've got another one, my rosemary mint. Again, the same sort of uh, principle, different, just different color of paper and raffia. And then I made this one. This is one of my little hand soaps. And this is actually a quite earlier version of my label. So this is a cardboard label that I just glued on. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll wrap. Um, uh, ribbon all around and I just use a glue, uh, hot glue gun and I just put a bead of glue on here on the sides and on the bottom and then just tape the uh, the ribbon on there. So the ribbon is, is loose at the top but it's held together on the bottom where it's glued. So, and again that helps to keep soap inside its little pocket or its little pajama bottoms. Another thing I do is I use coffee filter Coffee, coffee filters, sorry, I can't talk anymore, um, to wrap my round soaps. Basically, just wrap, you put the soap on the coffee filter, you just gather up the edges, put your label on the bottom, and put your label on the top, and away you go. And that works also with salt bars. I've made some long and skinny salt bars, and again, they're coffee filters. I uh, roll the salt bar in the coffee filter, and you can't tell, but part of the edge of the filter is here, like that. So I put my sticky label on top and that helps to secure it. I put my other label on the bottom. I put wrap the edges just like a present. And 
and um, there you go. So those are just a few ideas for wrapping soaps. And some of my soaps that have a pattern or a motif on the broad side of the soap, um, stay tuned because I'll show you what I do with those. Bye for now. Okay, so now to wrap these types of soaps where the motif is either quite raised or it's on the broad side of the soap, I decided to use a different method uh, to wrap them. So I use a plastic bag, clear plastic bag, and I use some cardboard or just colored paper. This is actually scrapbooking paper. I just cut the sheets down to the size that I need. And I have my labels. Uh, the labels I print on a just like a plain sheet of, of labels, like a, just one lab big label per sheet. I print my labels and then I cut them out with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. Right, so we'll do this one first. Now with these, because these are cold process soaps, I like to put punch holes in the plastic just because I like the soap to be able to breathe. Plus also, um, when you smell the soap, you can still smell a little bit of what it, the scent is like um, through the holes. So I use a nut pick. I could use a punch, a hole punch, but I find uh, my hole punch is either, either not good enough or just the, um, the holes are too big and yet it's little, get the little flaps and you have to tear them out and it's, it's a pain. So I just use this and I just make some holes right through. Holes, 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 holes. Eventually I might find a different way of wrapping them that's a little bit easier or not as intricate, but for now it sort of suits my purpose. So I get my little card. I'll put it in the bag. There we go. I get the soap victim. Put that in the bag. Like this. To get my label ready. Say, my my table is at an incline, which is why things tend to slide down. It's not um, the power of my mind or anything like that that makes it move. So now I just fold the flap over. Even though it's going to overhang a little bit, but I'll trim that in a minute. Get my label. Put it on here. I try not to press too much on the soap. There's the label. There's my little soap. And these little um, flaps here, I'm just going to trim off with my scissors. Like that. Okay. There we go. There. So now we have our soap all wrapped up. So I'm going to do the other one just so that you can see. So again, get my holes in there. Now, it's a good thing I don't have hundreds of soap to do. It would take me forever, but I only make maybe a dozen or two dozen at the most of any one kind. And usually I don't make them um, with the motif on the broad side. So these are more of an exception than the rule. So now I've got my little card. Now, this is not a Christmas motif card. I didn't have one, but it is green. So green, Christmas, you know, you got to stretch the imagination a little bit, but it does work. So we've got our soap in here. Oh, got to get my label ready. So here's my label right there. There we go. And now I'm going to trim the edge. There you go. 
Now, if I were actually really thinking about it and, and wanting to make really, really nice wrapping, I would take two pieces of cardboard, put one to back to back like this, one, one facing this way, one facing this way, then my label, so then you'd have a nice border for your label. I just thought of that. Maybe that's what I'll do for the next ones. So there you go. Two little soaps wrapped up.